some Muslims don't know, there's no Muslims who left Islam. I'm not saying that. But overall, Islam is spreading. People accept Islam, alhamdulillah. You know, even though, as I've mentioned, there is many, many barriers against Islam. You know, they say Islam oppressed women. Islam oppressed this. That's what they say, innit? But a lot of majority of reverts are women. Subhanallah. You know? Yeah, but you know, but you know now, yeah. I want to, I want to mention something. I think Europeans they cannot speak about Islam oppressed women. You know why? Because now Europe and the Western world, they don't know what woman is. They don't know. Literally, men can be women. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know. So, so when they say Islam oppressed women, what do you mean by that? Define woman. They cannot define woman. Have you seen that program with this American guy? He was going around there, he was asking, define woman. A woman, she said, I cannot define woman. So the Western world, they cannot tell us if we are oppressing women or not. Yeah. And you gave a good example about, if you feel like you don't have an arm, you're not going to cut the arm off. Yeah, because you feel, subhanAllah, there is a man that raped two women. Raped two women, yeah? What happened? The day that he was going to the court to get a sentence, he dressed like a woman and he said, I, I identify myself as a woman. Now, where they have to put him? Woman prison. Woman, woman prison. prison. Yeah, they have to put him because he's a woman, he said. Now that place is a like paradise for him. That's what he wants. But Allah mentioned that in the Quran. Women a'rada an dhikri fa inna lahu ma'ishatan danka. Whoever turns away from a remembrance, then he will have a miserable life. And that's what we see now. You know, it's crazy, bro. And it's so funny. The, 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 that's a similar thing. Similar desires, like. desires. You take it, taking your desires as God. Yeah. When you take your desires as God, then you start today this halal, tomorrow you change your mind. Yeah. Tomorrow is halal. Like you know, now like I said, they cannot tell us what is a woman or what is a man. You understand? Look, this guy. Alhamdulillah <laughs> for Islam. Huh? Okay, I'm sweet enough, you know. <laughs> you know the way you break, break it down, you give that, the way you break it down, like you give examples about, the two, for example, the two million pounds, and you give the prophecies. Well, like, Alhamdulillah. It's just an easy way to digest. But, Alhamdulillah, you know that's the blessing of Quran and Sunnah. No philosophy, yeah. no uh, long-winded discussions. Quran, Sunnah, simple yeah. way. Well, like, Alhamdulillah, that's, you that's a barakah. Because that, I was I was going into the root of the kalam cosmological, it just gets confusing, and you can negate. Yeah, that. yeah, and yeah. Like yeah. how you said. Yeah. And the way you break it down is easier to digest. It's all of this word arguments, word play, and it's just too much. And why they that why they are using this uh, scientific way to prove Allah's existence or cosmological way? Yeah. Because some Muslims they have inferiority complex yeah. towards the Western world, so they have to treat, they have to uh, uh, debate them according to their yeah, so, yeah. style and according to their standard. However, they say because they are different than us. But Sahaba when they went to Persia and Roma, Byzantine. They were different than the, the Arab Muslims. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Byzantine philosophy was there. Persian, they were philosophers. Uh, uh, many philosophers. Likewise, Sahaba never said, you know what? Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, Ali, Talha. Now we're reaching Persia or we're reaching Byzantine. Remember, the people are different. Yeah, Let yeah, us yeah. utilize their way. No, they were proud of the Quran and the Sunnah. I remember you said something as well. Like, there, them accepting Islam is not your criteria. This, uh, the Quran and Sunnah is a criteria. Now, people, uh, uh, Allah changed the hearts. Where it's upon us to convey the message. Like I mentioned, Akhi, there is some guys here, they be speaking to some Muslim brothers, speaking, yeah. speaking to some atheists here for hours. <laughs> hours, Akhi. Uh -huh. Long winded discussion, and they have not accepted Islam. Do you know why? Because those atheists, they're not seeking the truth. You know, they're not seeking the truth, and they know Islam is the truth. So what you do, you have to remind them with Allah's verse about the yeah, hellfire yeah, and the punishment. That's the Quranic style, you know, Wallahi, you with said, Jannah. Oh, sorry, sorry. You, said, you said as well, I remember you talked about one, one conversation you had with an atheist. And he must, have said, he must have said to him, are you sure you're here? He's like, I'm not sure. You're 100% sure. He said, I'm 99%. I might be asleep. And you said that every week they'll come with a new argument. Of course. To, they'll go now, research, now this person cannot become Muslim. Because what? if he becomes a Muslim and he still has this belief, there's always doubt. Yeah. Muslim have to have certainty. Aliyakin, Layyip. So this guy is gonna doubt. Said maybe Islam is true, but there is some one one point percent Islam is not true. You kafir billah, because Islam is the truth with billion certainty, no doubt about it. You understand? So if a person says that, well, I'm gonna spend my waste my time with him, telling him, uh, like one of them, I said to him, 
are you are you in front of me? He said, are you asking me epistemologically? Yeah, that guy, that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm asking you a question, forget oh, it. Man. Epistemologically, <laughs> anthropologically, psychologically, cosmologically. And you know the term they use, big terms. And if you yeah. oh, they sound smart. But if you investigate the Mahid, they're dumb. No smartness. The smartness, that's what Allah in the Quran mentioned. وَقَالُوا لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ مَا كُنَّا فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ They said, if we use our intellect and our hearing, then we wouldn't have been from the people of the fire. What does that mean? They, they didn't have intellect. No, they had intellect, but they never allowed their intellect to function according to the way Allah created it. They were poisoned with skepticism, philosophy, nonsensical things. You see, so they went against their uh, nature just for the sake of rejecting Allah. I'll give you an example. Let's listen to this, yeah? I was speaking to a sister. She said to me, she had some doubt, yeah? yeah? So she said to me, I said, look, you have to watch Allah, mention Allah's blessings. She said to me, but Allah, I never, uh, Allah never asked me before he created me. Allah never asked me before he created me, yeah? So I'm thinking, Look, this she's miskeen, yeah? yeah? But this question doesn't make any sense. Why? Because if Allah, watch this. She wants to, yes, what are you saying? Good. She wants Allah according to her desires, yeah, firstly. Yeah. Secondly, if, Allah's, if Allah has to ask you, then what he has to do? He has to create you. But if Allah creates you, then you have to understand he's your Lord and your servant. You have to submit to him. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Make what is this called? A self satatu Sophistry. Sophistry. They will, they will ask question. The first part of the question refute the last part, or the last part refute the first part. Yeah. And this group called Sophista Iyun existed before Plato and Aristotle. They existed to create what they were doing in debate and discussions. They used to create questions for the sake of confusing people. Yeah. And some people, what they do, they entertain the question. Then what happened? It just cause cause more confusion. You bring in an answer to something that does not need the answer. What it needs rebuking and showing the nonsensical question. You understand? Because it doesn't make any sense. Why Allah created me, he never asked me. But if he ask you and you know he's your Lord, the Almighty, the Powerful, the Creator, the one that owns everything, and you are his servant, how is he going to ask you? <laughs> doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Subhanallah, doesn't make any sense. It's like you're going to work, and you know when you're going to work, and you know this is the boss, and you have to follow the boss, and you say, you know what? Why you don't tell me what I, I, I should tell you what to do? Yeah, You're gonna yeah. say, no, no, there's misunderstanding here. I'm the boss. Yeah. You understand? That's why when you, they bring these questions, but when they go to work, they have no problem. Their managers to control them what time they go to the bathrooms. They have no problem with that. Literally, if you work from nine to five, you can't go to the bathroom every yeah. second. The, the boss will say to you, listen, your break is midday. And he says, thank you, sir. But I guess Allah, they will bring any nonsensical yeah, disease, yeah. Uh, evil question. Why? Because your heart and your soul is poisoned. That's what Allah said. The one that because we have a nafs and our nafs is like a baby, just wants more and more and wants to, to justify the haram. So we have to cultivate it and control it. You understand? So Allah put a nafs in us to test us. Either it's going to overpower us or we have to overpower it. How we overpower it? By the Quran and the Sunnah. You understand? Not by philosophy. Philosophy just increase you more in darkness and disease and marad and marad.